Gene, what does this mean to you, man? I mean, uh, these are the athletes, you know? Yeah, it means a great deal to me. You know, um, I know obviously all of the board members and I just can't imagine what that conversation was in the room. And uh, it means a great deal to me. So I'll, I'll cherish it and um, uh, be respectful of it. And um, it was just a great honor to me. Uh, dumb question, but do you still have your Notre Dame letter jacket? No, I do not. My oldest daughter has that somewhere. Hopefully, I mean, she probably, I don't know, she might have put it on eBay. Who knows? Yeah. But you can wear this thing to the next uh, national championship. I can, yeah. You know, as soon as the, well, the weather's going to get cold, so I'll be able to put it on and wear it and be proud. And uh, so, no, it's, uh, it's, it's moving. And uh, so I'll be able to go home uh, later tonight and share it with my wife and share it with my family. And uh, it's, it's special. The athletes like it fits yeah. well. Yeah, it did. It was amazingly. They, 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 they got a, a good, did a good job with it. The athletes are always the ones that have been forefront in your mind always. since you've been here, since you've been doing this job. What? Yeah, and to see them reciprocate, I mean, it tells you you've touched people, right? I mean, well, that's what I hope, you yeah. know. And many of you have asked me periodically, you know, what do you want your legacy to be? And but that's it. You know, I, I hope that the student athletes that you know I had an opportunity to serve over the years. I uh, had a quality experience, and, and this is a part of that, um, them recognizing uh, the, the, what they were able to realize for themselves through Buckeye Nation's efforts. But that's that's what means the most to me, it's our student athletes. You said the other day you want to be best, and that's, yeah. that's part of this. That's true. You know, you, you everyone has a purpose, and you go wake up every day with a purpose to attack that purpose, but ultimately the, the mission is to be missed. And, and so what do you have to do to do that? And so there's a lot to that, but um, yeah, this this helps me understand that maybe I, I met a piece of my mission. I know you have time for that, but have you been able to reflect on your career and everything you've accomplished in the end? Is there a time for that down the road but not yet? Yeah, I really haven't to the degree. I mean, every now and then there's a question like this or others that emerge um, uh, that I think about some things, but I haven't had an opportunity to really sit back and reflect on it in a totality. Uh, because let's be clear, you know, I'm still running hard. <laughs> you know, we got things in front of us we want to achieve while I'm here. So, um, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that opportunity to uh, think back at my days at Eastern Michigan and, you know, and Iowa State and so on and so forth. But um, and sometimes some people will send me things from those times and I'll think about them. And, but in totality, I haven't. Yeah. You mentioned having nine months left. Like, does anything feel different now, or do you still just feel like I'm on the job, and then in nine months we'll stop and see where things are? It feels a little different, obviously, uh, when I'm in situations. And to give you an example, when I'm meeting with my teammates and we're talking about what well, the conference schedules just came out. So when we're talking about the future um, and planning around that, they know I'm not going to be here. So it's not like a guessing game. You know, so before it was like, uh, is he really going to be here then? You know, so now they know there's clarity. And, and I can literally say in some of those meetings, look, that's not a decision that I'm going to make. I'm going to leave that for the next person. Let's set it up. Let's create the framework. We'll let them make the final decision. So um, that's uh, kind of how it's kind of been a relief from that perspective. How do you kind of prepare Ohio State for the future while you're still in the present? Well, you know, you, you that's always been a, something you work on. It's, it's, that's not a change. It's every year and every month you're, you're dealing with things that are that are, will hopefully prepare you better for the future. Uh, so for now, um, you know, there's so many things in the aggregate that's different. NIL, transfer portal, you know, all those different things. Conference realignment, you got four new schools coming in. So just making sure that, you know, we're set up and, and making sure that we're logical and reasonable in our approach uh, to make sure that we can handle all those issues. When's the last time you were surprised by something like of this magnitude? Uh, it's been a long time. First grandson, first grandkid. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's been years. Um, you know, this is a surprise. Yeah. I mean, it's a legitimate surprise. I did not anticipate it. Uh, um, I guess when I when I made my announcement, I surprised you guys. Yeah. That was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. That I surprised you. <laughs> so, but Touché. no. But, but, you know, no, I... Um, this means a lot to me. And I'll reflect on it tonight and tomorrow morning when I'm working out. Um, yeah, it means a lot to me.